Hey, what's up, you beautiful people? So today I'm going to be talking about this budget tracker uh, right up there, uh, and this is something that I have used for a few years now, just to kind of help keep my finances in order, keep track of where my money's at, where it should be, and all that good stuff. So here's a template. The template's actually gonna be linked if you're watching this on YouTube in the description. If not, it'll be somewhere. Uh, so you can you can go and download this. It's open for you to download. Um, and then obviously where it says edit here, on the left side of that, that's where you'd edit it. You can edit anywhere, but uh, that's just like everything else has math going on or functions. Um, like this function just points to, to B22, whatever. I mean, if you're familiar with uh, Excel pages or numbers for Mac, you know, just Google Sheets, that's what we're looking at right now. It's all pretty much the same stuff, usually basic math. And that's actually what we got going on here. Uh, these are things that it's pointing to. This is like 2021, 2020, 2020 um, tax brackets. So, it's a little out of date. I need to update it. And it actually brings me to another piece where I'm just curious to if anybody knows where I can find the official tax brackets, like from irs.gov. I couldn't find it on their website. But if anybody knows, I'd love that information so that I could add a web scraping element into the algorithm or if there's like an API to get the information to update automatically instead of having to input this. But what's cool is the algorithm will run the rest of it for you. So for instance, find it. Okay, here it is. Um, you got, yeah, my computer is chugging a little bit. Change the priority so that OBS uh, takes priority. That's what I'm recording this on. But yeah, so these are the functions for this, and we're gonna get into the code part of that. So this is the Python version of part of that, at least the tax calculator part. Go ahead and just run that. Um, open it so you can see it, how it works once it opens up. So here's the calculator. Say you make 40K and you run it, and it'll give you the information, you know, what you're gonna be paying in taxes and how much you're gonna take home at net. And then there's a drop down to change if you're married and it'll just recalculate it for you right there. So this will be in the GitHub repo that I have if you wanna download it, mess with it, whatever. And uh, yeah, so that's how that works. Pretty straightforward. I got the tax calculations uh, from here website which I will also link in the description um, and then essentially what I got going on is just the numbers so this is where the web scraper would come in handy just it would scrape the information and put it right into here into each of these values this one's for the single obviously you have the married one down here and then this is doing a calculation to get what the previous tax brackets are because that's how taxes work like if you're in the third tax bracket then you're going to pay taxes at each level added together and that's what this does these lines here obviously the first tax bracket you're just in that tax bracket the second one adds the maximum of that one right that's why those are the same to whatever you are in the next tax bracket that's all it's doing. I can go into more detail, but it's pretty straightforward. Also, you can just ask me in the comments and I can try to reiterate it and explain it in a different way. Um, then after that, you got just some checks. So the first thing is what tax bracket is the user in? All right, so this is gonna be the for, uh, second tax bracket, I think. Yeah, so that's tax bracket B. That's how I'm labeling them because it's less than uh, 40,525. That's the top of that bracket for single right here. Um, and then, so we would check it, it checks it, it sees it's in B because if, you know, if it's greater than or equal to A, then it's A, else it's greater, it's greater than, uh, or sorry, if it's less than, that's, that's literally what that means. If income, 
this part here is less than or equal to this, which is what we grab up here, right? That's why we have these here. Then return A, else if all the way down to here, grab that. And then, so then it changes um, if it's less than, in, income is less than or equal to bracket B, and it's greater than bracket A, and you know, that continues up, then you're in this tax bracket, etc., etc. And then you have the same deal for married, so it's a single married. And then we get on to calculating the taxes. So this calculates the taxes. You, um, yeah, so if, <laughs> if what it's fed, and it's, it's fed bracket um, and income, then, and so it does some math on income based on the bracket that it gets returned. So, or based on what the bracket is, then it returns the income with some math attached to it, right? So the first bracket is that, it's 10%, and then the next bracket is 12% on everything above the first bracket, and then you just add that bracket just like you would, and that's why this other math is done up here or down here if you're married. And single um, S. And uh, then here's the calculations for married. And so this returns the net income, of course. And so what you got is just pretty simple. Income, gross income, minus tax. Pretty simple calculation here. You just get your gross income minus the tax. And so it just takes in those values. And obviously this is kind of a promise, um, right? that it's gonna take these parameters and then that all happens down for run check, which just does does that, you know? So it, it has this array or list, I guess this is, this is a list, I think, specific, well, I, I'm not gonna look it up, but it, it's, it's a list, it's an array, whatever, same function pretty much. Um, and you get bracket, so that just checks the bracket, obviously by using the income. And that's all getting fed in right here. So this is the only input that you're gonna have and you get these two outputs, the federal income taxes and the net income after federal income taxes it does not take anything else into account. <laughs> so we got that. And then you got your, um, oh my God, sorry, it's like getting in the way. Uh, your tax. Guy calculation right here. Um, so it just calculates the tax based on the bracket, which we just got above there. And the income again gets put in there to do that math that we saw up, up above. And then the tax and net um, is appended to with those those two outputs. Um, so, right, did I, yeah. <laughs> uh, with, actually, sorry. Not with bracket, bracket doesn't get appended, but the um, the tax, which goes into this field, and then the the net income, those get appended to the tax and net, that's what it's called that, and it returns it in this obviously, so if single, if status is single, if and else, I don't, don't even need to do anything like that, and so we're also getting, we're, let me back up here. <laughs> what we get is we get status and income uh, as inputs. And then those are handled over here, the UI. So this whole other bit here, this is the algorithm. And then this is the graphical user interface using tkinter, C profile, and then obviously this algorithm right here is imported. So you know, blah, 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 this is all the tkinter stuff is where we import this module that we need. And then here are our options, one of the things that gets fed into it, right? And so we have a whole bunch of stuff which I'm not gonna get into all the details of that, but you know, have your drop down going on, then the entry window, which is this, and some output labels, and uh, the outputs as well. You know, so you have the label results, um, and I honestly do need to clean up the verbiage of this code because some of this was 
uh, obviously you know, Stack Overflow and blogs and stuff like that. And I just reorganized it for the purposes of what I'm doing here. Unfortunately, I didn't source any of this. I, I don't know why I didn't do that. I, I usually do a good job of that. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on here. And then you just have de definition of calculate and that's tied to event and the event is, um, I think it has something, it's some special thing that's in tkinter, I believe. I really need to reread over this, but what it does is obviously there's no enter button. You just hit enter on the keyboard and that's, you know, return. That's what it's getting fed into. That's what's bound to the input, which I called input. I probably should just say gross income or something like that, but whatever. Um, and then just so that it doesn't repeat like a bunch of times, I'm gonna actually show an example of that. So I'll just rewrite the code and then rerun this. But obviously if I change something, we'll say 50,000 or 500,000, whatever. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, if I hit enter more, it's not gonna repeat, um, it's just gonna, change it like that but how I had it uh, and that's why so that's why there's this delete statement here during this calculation because um, I'm always trying to interact Come up here, girl. Ah. Um, so it starts from the beginning and it deletes it before the insertion happens Otherwise, we'll just comment uh, it out so you can see what that looks like. Because we're just doing single, um, close this, rerun it now that we've saved it, and you will see what I mean. So, you can see it's like, just, the, you know, that's total mess. <laughs> Um, and so what this does is just delete that such that that doesn't happen. You don't get that weird messy looking stuff um, where it's just like a pending and a pending and a pending. Because you don't want that. You just want a single output. Right? Anyways, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, everything else is very basic T Kinter stuff. And I thought I would share that with you guys. Again, as always. Uh, share questions, comments, concerns, and if you have any requests for other tutorials, videos, things for me to go over, feel free to pop that in the comments. Um, yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.